Hello everyone, I am Khadija Sabri, PhD student in the second year at the Faculty of Science and Technology of Stats, University Hassan I, in the Laboratory of Engineering, Industrial Management and Innovation. The objective of my work is to make a comparative study of different MPPT algorithms for photovoltaic system under partial shading conditions, under the supervision of Mr. Wadi al Magiri and Mr. Abdel Majid Farshi. This presentation is organized as follows. Firstly, introduction and objective. Secondly, photovoltaic system modeling. The conventional and unconventional MPPT algorithms, simulation results and discussion and conclusion. As you know, the solar energy source is the most attractive among all other renewable sources thanks to its durability, is of use and the possibility of installing it near the user for its noise-free raining. A shadow means that a mask prevents the arrival of the photon of the photovoltaic fields. If the shadow fills one even of uh, one panel of the tree, the output of the whole tree will be almost zero during the shadow period. If there is a separate unshaded tree, it will still turn the power output as usual, with a different local power values as you see it here. We are interested to track in the maximum power GMPP of a partially shaded photovoltaic system using a bot converter as the power conditioning unit. To meet this objective, different conventional methods as P and O and VSP and O and no conventional control methods as PSO have been proposed. The PV cell can be modeled either by using a simple diode. The relation between the current and the voltage is the following equation, or a dual diode for better accuracy, efficiency, and prediction. We apply Kirchhoff's law to obtain the relation between the current and the voltage of the systems. The MPPT control system is an essential link in a photovoltaic power generation system. This paper proposes a comparative study between five conventional and unconventional algorithms. Starting with the classical methods, perturb and observe P and O algorithm. The mechanism of the P and O algorithm in works by distributing the voltage or current across the PV array, then comparing the corresponding output power with that of the previous cycle. Variable state P and O algorithm. It is the same principle of the P and O by modifying the step size the increments either by increase or reduction. VSP and O with a variable step size. As VSP and O, this algorithm uses two different step size variables. This method, measuring the current variation to determine which of two steps, step 1 or step 2, used to track the MPP. Improved VSP and O with a global scanning. This method adopts the duty cycle to operate in two steps. The first is based on the variable CP and O algorithm to get the first peak and the power will be recorded as. And the second step of global scanning is used to get the global optimum. And for the unconventional algorithms, Particle Swarm Optimization, PSO. This method solves the problem of complex and nonlinear systems with a set of particles. The set of values that characterize the equivalent circuit of PV cells and the meteorological conditions are reported in this table. This figure represents respectively the power, voltage, currents and the duty cycle of the PV panel and the converter. The results of the simulation show that the algorithm VSP and O give more important results than the other. This algorithm is based in the variation of the step size, which reduces the oscillation around the MPP with a faster response to reach it. The algorithms based on artificial intelligence PS, uh, PSO are characterized by, the, by their robustness and efficiency, except that the implementation of this type of algorithm is more complex than the classical algorithms. 
In this work, we have presented the mean element of the PV system. We conducted a comparative study between different conventional and unconventional control methods. We ended with a simulation of this algorithm in case of shading, and our future work is based on the development of a new MPPT control model that solves the problem of energy storage in battery and in order to focus uh, on the injection of energy into the network. We rely on the following two constraints, the maximum power point tracking MPPT and the power factor controls. Thank you for your attention.